Well, I think science is core to this country's future and whether it's through its implications for the economy, for society, for the way we live our lives, uh, for our environment, and in particularly for the way that government makes policy and how New Zealand projects itself to the world, we can use science in so many other ways to make a better New Zealand. The stellar career of Sir Peter Gluckman has been built on his commitment to creating a better New Zealand. One of the country's preeminent scientists, Sir Peter's leadership roles and standing in the world of health research are unprecedented. His work in prenatal development and children's health is recognised internationally. Today, Sir Peter sees his role as an integrator of science, believing science lies at the core of New Zealand's future, whether it be our economy, our environment or our society. As Chief Science Advisor to the Prime Minister, he is the driving force in bringing sound scientific advice to policymakers in New Zealand and is now influencing governments around the world. Science and evidence don't make for policy, but better policy is made when it's informed by science and evidence. His honours are many. He's been New Zealander of the Year, won the illustrious Rutherford Medal, and is a member of the Order of New Zealand, an honour restricted to 20 living New Zealanders. He's been cited more than 30,000 times in scientific literature, has founded international scientific societies and consulted at the highest levels for global organisations. He builds expert teams of strong-minded people whom he nurtures and inspires. Ever since he was a young doctor, research has been Sir Peter's passion. He first delved into research working in the Himalayas with Sir Edmund Hillary. Intrigued by endocrinology, he initially studied how a baby's hormonal systems develop in the earliest stages of pregnancy. In 1980, he set up a research group at the University of Auckland. He became world-renowned for inventing the cooling cap worn by newborn babies with suspected brain damage and used today in maternity wards across the world. Sir Peter established two important medical establishments, the Liggins Institute and the National Centre of Growth and Development, focusing on how conditions early in life impact on a human being's health throughout a lifetime. Since 2009, he has broken new ground as the first Chief Science Advisor to the Prime Minister, promoting cultural change in attitudes and increasing public understanding of science. The reach of his expertise now extends far beyond New Zealand's borders. He's been co-chair of the World Health Organization's Commission on Ending Childhood Obesity and founded the International Network of Government Science Advice. Over four decades, Sir Peter Gluckman has become a leader with the capacity to advance New Zealand, ensuring that we remain not only relevant to the world, but world class. Well, there's many different styles of leadership and there are different ways in which you can be effective. But I think in all cases, they've got to have vision, they've got to have perseverance, they've got to have honesty, they've got to stretch themselves and lead from the front. The Sir Peter Blake Trust is privileged to honour an outstanding scientist, researcher and leader dedicated to the greater good.